Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks. Today's project is another repair fail. You know, I'm really getting tired of these people who are doing these shoddy jobs. And, and it's unbelievable that they are passing it as a repair. These are, if I'm not mistaken, these are Alden Ravellos, which are very good quality shoes. Okay, Ravello is the, is the color of Shell Cordovan. Now, it might be whiskey. I'm not 100% sure. Um, somebody did a half sole and heel. Crappy, crappy job. He's got crazy glue in the shank area right here where the seam's supposed to be flawless when you're doing a half sole. They messed up on the welt. Okay, so we're going to completely disassemble these, remove everything from the bottom, Rewelt them, put some leather um, heel rand, leather heel block, combination heel, JR soles. We're going to do French tips. I'm going to clean the uppers up because he's got areas on the edges here where the edge dressing has kind of come onto the uppers, which is, I mean, that's like shoe repair 101. You got to keep the edge dressing off the off the uppers, and then uh, clean them up, condition them up, make them look as fairly as new as possible. Okay, let's get started. Some people should just not be in the business. I think these are whiskeys, by the way, not Ravellos. I mean, they didn't even countersink the stitches. Look at that. As soon as you wear it, the stitches break. Why would you not countersink the stitches? That's like shoe repair 101. It's just so frustrating to see stuff like this. Actually, people doing it. You hear about it, but to actually see it, it's a shame. I mean, my goodness, man, look at this. Look at this. You guys see the glue? Look at that glue. That's like they did it after the fact. Look, it's crazy glue. They left the old cork. Anyway, we'll make it right. All right, let's continue.
All right. Looks pretty rough. This is a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water. So what we're doing here is um, just softening the uppers a little bit and try to work these creases out as best as possible. Just gonna roll them the other opposite direction. Now, creases are not gonna go away. After you start wearing it, it's gonna come back. But these will look these will look a little better once we get done with them. Some people do um, deer bone. You can do that. I personally like my cow bone better. Some people use the back of the spoon to do that. Got that too. But when I've got the soles off, I can, I can, you know, the shoes are a little pliable, so I can, I can do this. that dry cool all right let's continue
So as we can see, they're not bad. They're coming along pretty good. Now, the funny thing about whiskey is that every angle that you look at, it takes a different hue. See all the different shades? It's normal for whiskey. I think they're coming along pretty good. So next step is to put the welt on. All right, let's continue. <clears throat> so we're going to put a small dab of glue on this thread right here and push it in. We don't want it to come apart. Stay put. All right, so we've got our cork in, we've got our shank in. This is the heel rand, a piece of leather should be in the back. This is just a piece of uh, soling leather, ladies soling leather that I cut out and reshaped it to make it look like what we need it. That's important to get this shape right because everything else is gonna follow this. If this is wrong, then it's gonna follow the wrong way. sure the the welt the connection between the welt and the the heel ran is should be overlapping a little bit no bump or anything there just should be uniform looking all right let's continue
The nails hit the last and a cinch. That's why you don't feel any nails when you're stepping down on it. Besides, the, the insole goes on top to cover those details. Let's continue. All right, welcome back. We are done with another project. I'd say they turned out pretty good compared to what we had them, compared to what we had before. Not too fancy on the bottom. I did forget to do the French tip when I stitched it so I had to open that up again to fit the metal tip so sometimes when we do that we do cut the thread of the stitch that's you know stitched to the welt we put a little bit of bead of glue right on the threads that were cut so when it dries it holds it in place though so it doesn't come loose I, I, I have had one come loose then I started gluing them 
and then that issue stopped. All right. Beautiful shoes. I mean, they're gorgeous shoes. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing five pairs of these. Five pairs of Shell Cordovan. A couple of them are whiskey. One of them is a Ravello. We're going to put a full band just like this right here. It's not full. It comes to about right here. The customer wants a full band to put across there. All right. Well, thank you again for joining me. I appreciate it. And um, if you guys have any comments, thumbs up, subscribe. So approximately 78, 80% of my viewers are males and the rest are females. So this is a shout out to all your females. Okay. All your females, all the females. So Please watch, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. And now I got to get back to work and answer the phone. We'll see you guys again on the next project. Take care. Good afternoon, Beatles Leatherworks.